Hi everybody and welcome back to Hypex Training. I'm Coach Rachel and today is day number six of our seven day challenge. How are you guys feeling? Feeling great? All right, today is just a recovery hills moment. So if you miss any speed or incline changes, I don't want you to worry because again, we're going to have all that displayed for you to see on your screen right over here. And then if you look over onto the opposite side of your screen, that's going to be a nice progression bar that will always show you where we are from start to finish through this whole entire workout. Now I know I said recovery hills, but let's still make sure we have a towel and a water bottle handy because even though it's a recovery day we still gonna get sweaty so let's look down at that tread hit that start button in three in two and one we start quick here two five three five so it's recovery hills it's a walking day okay now I know walking can be easy, but it can also be as aggressive as you want it to be. There are things that we do, especially when you put in hills, they're going to push you out of your comfort zone, all right? We're only here for another 10 seconds, and then we're going to take it up to a nice warm-up incline. You can keep the pace the same, but I want a two on the incline, and another three, two, one. So two on the incline, and again, it's two, five, three, five. So if you're on the slower side of your pace, start picking it up maybe, okay? We're gonna max out at 3.040. If 4.0 is a little slow, you have really tall, you got those nice long legs. A, we all jelly. B, you can go ahead and pick up the pace. Maybe 4.1, 4.2, right? But we are gonna play around with the hills today. So as soon as we incline, the pace feels a little bit more aggressive. Just keep that in mind, okay? <sighs> Let it out. You got 30 more seconds. We're gonna take the incline off and we're gonna start picking up our pace to our starting pace. So just breathe. It's a nice day, right? Coming off that 35 minute hit yesterday. How are we feeling? Feeling good? Did you hydrate? Did you stretch? I know you did. Now you gotta lie about it. Why would you, right? Everybody always stretches when they say they stretch. We're gonna take off the incline in five, four, three, two. Give me that flat road. And we're gonna pick up that pace, 3040. And the pace can stay here. For the rest, whatever pace you pick, this is your now working pace, okay? It can stay here for the rest of the workout. We're only here for 30 seconds. We go right into the workout, and it's going to be pretty much the same. It's three minutes on a hill, three minutes on a flat road. We start at a flat road, so we just start here. If you're not at that 3.0 to that 4.0, you're not at your max speed, hit it there in three, two, and one. So now we're here. Okay, it's a flat road. If your uh, treadmill can go to 0.5, add a little bit of a little bit of something. Okay, if not, you can always keep it at a one. If a one is you're like I need the break, you can take it to that zero. All right, but 0.5 if you can. <sighs> and now let it out because we're here. Okay, I didn't even get to tell you how long this workout was today. It's only 28 minutes. This is your recovery day. Day number six. Tomorrow is the grand finale. You know we're gonna do something big, something special, okay? So enjoy this moment while you have it. I know it's like sometimes your body wants to go more, but you gotta tell it. You gotta chill out, girl. We've been working hard for six days in a row, five days in a row, time to recover. It's okay to take a little day, take it back a, a little bit. Keep it moving, right? You're keeping your body in motion. You're staying consistent, making your body do some movement. But you're bringing it back a little bit, letting your body recover from the, f from the first five days. All right, that's one minute down, two minutes to go. So all we're doing is four rounds, three minutes on the hill, three minutes on the flat road. The hills slowly increase. So we go to a two, a three, a four, and a five. Those are not aggressive hills. Anybody who's done any of the, working work the walking workouts with us, I think you know that five okay five starts to get a little start to get a little steep okay but it ain't 12 okay it ain't 10 that one workout we did whoo when we slowly went up to that 12 on the incline and then came back down you are feeling that yeah you are I love to walk I like to walk I like to talk hey ah. Put it on my resume. Two things I'm great at. Walking and talking. Do it together. Whew. Don't add a third thing in there because uh, three multitasking, absolutely not. I can't drink, walk, and talk at the same time. Come on. All right. One more minute. All you're going to do from here is take it up. Five on the incline. I'm, not, I'm kidding. Not five. Two. <laughs> I went in reverse. 
Okay? You got 40 seconds. Inhale. Exhale. We are fine, right? A nice day here. Beautiful. Hopefully it's a beautiful sunny day out. The good thing about this, you could even take these walking workouts to the track. I always tell people, get ready to take it two on an incline 20 seconds and then I'll come back to my thought. Okay? Hopefully I don't forget it because a lot of times I forget my thoughts <laughs> when I stop in the middle. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2 on the incline, baby. Here we go. Not so crazy, right? You're here for three minutes. All right, what was I going to say? If you don't have a treadmill but you still want to do these walking workouts or you have a friend who's like, well, I don't have a treadmill, you know? Like, it's kind of hard to do the, the walking ones with the incline, if I can't incline, right? So I always tell people a lot of times your high school has a track, right? So flat roads, walk the track. A lot of those tracks have bleachers. When you get to the incline, just go up and down the bleachers for those three minutes. It doesn't have to be super fast, just something different, right? A different range of motion. Try it out, okay? We want everybody to feel like they're included. All right, here we go. How's the hill? You're like, oh, listen, you already walked up this hill in the, in the warm up. We had that two minute, I'm sorry, that one minute, one minute little warm up piece where we went on the two incline. With, that's the same place. We're already here. <sighs> if you're freaking out, you're all right. Okay, you're not, I know you're not though. We're just breathing. <sighs> Remember when we're walking on the treadmill? We are not holding on to anything. All right. So if you're holding on to the tread, take your hands off. We're not cheating, right? No need to try to hold your body up. That's what you got these arms for. You're pumping. They're pumping the arms to move the body faster to hold the pace. Now holding on for dear life and your legs are just barely have any weight in them. Like you're flying in the wind. We're here to work, okay? Here to work. You got 90 seconds left. Then we take it to our flat road. And then that first one is done. And we only do this repeat three more times. <sighs> it's amazing. Start to feel it in the core, right? Pump the arms. Work the back. Squeeze the glutes. <laughs> Every cue I get a little louder. <laughs> Come on. 60 seconds left. Now how are we really feeling on this seven day challenge, guys? You're feeling good, right? Because when you get to this day, like, the first couple days kind of like kickstart you, right? And then you get that one walk and recovery. We went yesterday. We ran. We walk again. Like, it's nice. It's nice. And after this, you're going to want to run every day. You're welcome. 30 seconds, we take it to that flat row. Pace stays the same. If you want to and you need to slow it down or speed it up, remember it's 3.0 to 4.0 on the pace. We're just trying to stay between those lines. Don't take it down just because you want to, though. Like, only if it's necessary. I really wouldn't take it down on the flat road anyways. Five, four, three, two. You could take it off the incline. Personally, for myself, if I was going to take down my pace, it would be probably closer to the end when we got to the steeper incline because the pace is going to be a little harder to hold you know you want to finish we want to finish we just want to set ourselves up for success i don't ever want anybody to feel defeated in any of these workouts so pull back a little bit and finish try to stay within the guidelines okay all set it's all simple <sighs> let it out and walk and if you need to dance dance it out a little dance walk never hurt nobody the music kind of keeps you going Woo! come on come on come on almost the first minute down we got another two more minutes in this flat road and on the hill we go three's the hill on the next one just a little bit steeper, right? I'm feeling, feeling the seven day challenge. I hope you guys are more to come, you know? You gotta tell everybody about it. Tell your moms, tell your dads, especially on days like this. 
right? You see seven day challenge, you're like, oh my God, I'm probably gonna have to run all seven days, but you didn't, right? You got to walk. So tell people about it. I always tell anybody, especially about the walking ones, the importance of trying to get our parents, right? Our older, our older generation to keep their body moving. A lot of times as we get older, right? We start leading a more sedentary life. It's very simple. Our body in motion stays in motion. You have to keep moving, right? You have to use this tool or else it's not gonna know what to do, right? It's not gonna figure it out on its own. You gotta push it. One more minute, then we go to that three on the incline. You know, I like to practice what I preach. I think my mom would do some of these or my dad would do some of these, especially the walking workouts. Insert this emoji. You know what I'm talking about. Eyes like this, mouth like this. Mom, dad, let's go. You have two treadmills. They got two treadmills. You can walk side by side. You can hold hands. It's me yelling at my parents, okay? Or take it to that three on the incline in 15 seconds. Be the cutest thing you ever did see. Imagine you go to the gym, you see a little couple holding hands by the walk. You're going eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, three on the incline. Also, you got kids. I have two who don't like to work out. I have the, the what generation are you? Gen Z generation kids. They love their tablets. They love their TikToks. They love their dances. But any other type of physical activity, not a fan. You know, to each their own. These are great to do, right? With the, f with the family member, with the kid. The seven day challenge so far hasn't been super aggressive. Again, it's good for all levels. I know it's hard to get the kids today to do what our parents like to do, but maybe just yank them on the treadmill next to you. But just do this walking one, it's fine. You do this walking one, and then maybe like, you give them a little treat ice cream you know I don't know I always try to get my kids to move I think because I'm the mom they're like ah oh, I don't want to work out with my mom and the other moms feel like that <laughs> and just because it because it's you they like refuse to yeah I got cool teenagers they love they're lovely lovely <laughs> ding let's uh, insert that noise ding there we go. You're halfway there. How bad is this three hill? It's not even bad at all. We're almost halfway there. Halfway there. <sighs> Feels nice, right? To kind of just walk it out. There was like any tension building up. This is the moment, right? We're kind of releasing it. Kind of flushing out the legs. They're still working. You can still feel the glutes. You can still feel the core. But it's not as aggressive as yesterday. Keep going. What do you want today? What do you want out of this? And don't be like, just trippy Dawn. <laughs> so, anybody seen Men in Black, the original? The alien that eats the sugar? That was the voice I just made. <laughs> that was the voice for not any particular reason. It's just the one that decided to come out. All right. You got another 30 seconds. Then we take off the incline. And you're gonna start to really feel the difference after this. You're really gonna feel, oops. You're really gonna feel a, a difference on that flat road. Your lower abdominal feels engaged here. It's gonna feel like it almost can relax a little bit when you hit the flat road. It's nice. You'll feel a lot different in 10, in nine, in eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, now take it down, flat road. All right, you have your flat road here, your hill on the floor, on the, on the incline four, not floor, four, okay? And then 
your incline, your flat road, let me start over. Flat road, four incline, flat road, five incline, done. Just like that. We are officially halfway through the workout. Here we go. Good, really think about activating your glutes, right? Pushing off the feet. And you're kind of rolling heel to toe, heel to toe. It's not like running, the form's a smidge different, right? When you run, you're on the pads over your feet. When we're walking, heel toe, heel toe. Like a little kitty can't meow. Let's go. You can keep the arms by your sides. A little Sasquatch walk if you want. But roll the shoulders down and back. Keep that chest up. Pump the arms. And keep moving. We're almost halfway through this piece. You're ready for the four incline, right? Eh? I know. I know. 90 seconds till we get there. So two more three-minute pieces. They're going to be a little bit harder, all right? Nothing is hard. Nothing is, is as hard as the things you've already done, though, throughout the week. So I just want to put that in perspective. Hard in the moment, right? We don't give our ch ourselves a chance to quit or stop or pull back or fail, right? We set ourselves up for success today. Whatever the challenge is, how hard it's going to be, we won't do it with ease. We're going to do it with a smile. No frowns. Here we go, 60 seconds, six zero, and then we take it up, four on the incline. So, like I said, the four, four on the incline gets a start to, you start to feel a little bit more. So if you need to pull back point one, point two on that pace, that's fine, okay? Try not to go below that 3.0. Try not to pull back a lot, right? We're still working, even though it's a recovery hills, it's still part of the workout program. So make it a little, you wanna sweat, you wanna move. 20 seconds, we take it up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Here we go, 15. Just think, after this 10 seconds, you got nine more minutes of work. And then we cool that sucker down already. It goes by, just start taking one minute away. In three, two, one, take it on the four. Was it in this program where I was like, I'm great at doing math. I just keep taking numbers out away, keep subtracting. Honestly, when you get like halfway through, for me, it's like a little mental trick because sometimes you just keep looking at the clock, right? Sometimes you're just tired and it's really hard to like stay focused and like stay like you stay present in the workout without like your mind drifting off that you want to finish. So once you get through that halfway mark, if you start just like, okay, well, halfway for this workout would have been 15 minutes, right? And like, okay, 14 minutes, okay, 13 minutes, okay, 12 minutes. You start taking away every single minute. And then for some reason, it doesn't seem so overwhelming. You know, I'm all for that. Trying to like just change your perspective on things. Because a lot of time, it's just the way that we think. That mess with, we mess with our own head. All right, be your biggest cheerleader. That's what you need to do. How was that for? It's not so bad, right? Even the five. It's a little aggressive, but doable. You can start feeling it into your hip flexors a little bit more. The quads, the glutes. There we go, baby. You only got two minutes left. And then one more round, baby. One more round. They go round and round. I don't know. I was going to try to sing a song. Nothing came to mind. Here we go. Get those walking sticks. Wham, bam, bam. Let's go, team. Almost to the finish line. Here we go. Ten seconds to the last minute here. Not of the workout. Of this round. Walking is nice. You ever get days? Say we're not in the seven day challenge where you are just spent. You are spent. But you're like, if I don't go today, I know it's gonna be like this 
thought process. Is this going to be like harder for me to get back into it? So you force yourself to go. Great day for this. Walking, maybe a little core after. You're good. You're good. I say it all the time. Not every day needs to be 100% effort. Don't need to be that. Just stay consistent. You need 100% effort on consistency. Showing up for yourself. Energy levels, right? We're human, all right? Some days are good, some days are bad, you know? Just move. You'll feel better, the movement, you get like addicted to it. We're gonna take it to our flat road in five, four, three, two, one. Take it down. I'm at the point in my life right now, I work out so much and I, it's not like a toot toot my own horn. Cause it's kind of like, when I don't do anything, I feel like this energy like inside of me that kind of just needs to be released because I'm so used to exerting a certain amount of effort that not doing it, right? It just like absorbs back into me. I'm like, hey, like I got a puppy. I just, I'm gonna say, like I have my puppy, right? She gets the zooms out of nowhere and she's like sprints. I got that inside my body. You do too, like if you're used to working out all the time, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You get used to the instant energy release and you need to move your body. So these are perfect. You're getting what you need, right? You're releasing it, but you're not putting yourself out. Recovery moment. Guess what, guys? You got two more minutes and then we go to our last hill. And we're already out of here. I'm gonna hydrate now. A little what my whistle. Whew. I'm so sweaty. How long about you guys? Sweating it. Sweating on them haters. Come on. I don't know who the haters are. I just thought it was clever, clever, uh, clever little lyric to a song created by me in this moment. Let's walk, team. Guess what? 90 seconds yet. I meant to say left. 90 seconds left. All right. We got that last hill. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about this last hill. It's three minutes, five on the incline. You know that scene in The Lion King? He's like, I laugh in the face of danger. Ha <laughs> ha. So why we do to this hill, this hill at the end. Like, really? Five hill? I ain't scared of you. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's do it. That's it right there. That's why you go into every run. You're like, I'm not scared of you. Psh. Run four minutes straight. Psh. I ain't scared of you. The grand finale workout. You're gonna like challenging. Yes. Set yourself up now, right? Day six, you know it's coming tomorrow. You know it's not gonna be easy. You know you're gonna take everything we worked on during the weekend. It's gonna be a grand finale moment, putting it all together. So like I said, if you're like, oh, well, this isn't as bad. This isn't as hard as I want it to be. It's going to be hard tomorrow. Enjoy this moment, okay? There's a reason it's easier today. Tomorrow we're going to work hard. We go in 10 seconds, five on the incline. In seven, six, five, four, three, two, five on the incline. Listen, the album will come out next year, guys. <laughs> That's just me singing lines from all of the, uh, the workouts. And this one was called Recovery Hills. Five, four, me, 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 me. Let's go. Three minutes. See, how's this hill? It's the last one here. Three minutes and then we're done. Okay, we have a couple minutes of a cool down, but it's like a piece of cake, okay? This is it, last moment of work. The last hurrah, so really squeeze those glutes up the hill. If you could keep it like steady at that faster pace, go for it. Don't slow it down just yet. You got about two minutes. And you can pull back on the pace after that. Just keep walking and just keep pumping those arms. Walk in, what is this? 30 minutes. You should get about a couple miles in. A couple miles. That's nice. Right? 
Well, if you guys are like avid runners, can you text me in the comments? What's your, like your, your average, like your personal fulfillment of like what you feel is, I like to run five miles, I feel complete no matter what. If I, if I get five miles then I'm good, okay? I know that's a lot, all right? But everybody's a little bit different. What's your pace, is it two miles? Is it just let me get a mile in, I'm good to go for the day? There's nothing wrong with it, you know? Are you one of those people like, I gotta run. I have marathon every morning. <laughs> one of those people, you guys are crazy. <laughs> My knees don't like me after that. <laughs> I got these old lady knees. <laughs> All right, keep walking up the hill. Keep working it out. But like, just text me because I'm, I'm curious. This is a personal curiosity, okay? Kind of want to know what the norm is for most people. Because two miles, I think, is good for all levels, especially in a recovery moment. Guess what? 45 seconds left. 45 seconds left. We cool it down. We have two-minute cool down. One-minute recovery, one-minute cool down. Then we're finito. We're 30 seconds left on this hill. Keep rocking. Keep working. Keep squeezing. Keep breathing. We're almost there. You're gonna just hit that flat road. 3040 for a minute. You can pull back a little bit on the pace because it is a full recovery moment. We're officially out of the workout. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You did it, baby. Take it to your flat road. 3040 on that pace. Just take a little bit off. You know, allow my heart rate to come down. Maybe it's not as fast as if we're running and doing sprints, but it's up there, right? It's in that working stage. It's beating, all right? All right, so just breathe here. We're gonna take it down to a two, five, three, five. Let's just kind of recap day number six, this recovery hills. Just three minutes on, three minutes off. And when I say three minutes on, you're on an incline. Three minutes off, you're on a flat road. We didn't really change the pace. But if you needed to, we did, right? The hills increased as we got a little bit further into the workout. Steve Hill ended at a five. <sighs> All right, we're gonna take it, two, five, three, five, in another 10 seconds, and then I'll give you your secret emoji for the day. Remember to text or comment. Don't text it, because I don't have a number for you to text. Three, two, one, two, five, three, five. I might comment it, like it. If you see anybody else, post it, right? One, one team, one love. I'm expanding, right? It's the start today because you all are stars. Yes, you get to start today, tomorrow, oh, baby. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is it. You completed your seven day challenge. Anybody have anything they're gonna do once they complete? Did you like set a personal like, I get this when I finish these seven days? Huh? Is it another seven day challenge? Some people are like that, you know? Some people need the challenge in order to keep themselves motivated. There ain't no shame in your game. I'm one of those people. I like a goal at the end of my workout, right? That star emoji. Get ready to hit that stop button in 10 seconds and we're already done. What the heck did I punch today? Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. You can hit that stop button. Uh, this is Ibex Running. I'm Coach Rachel. Day six of our seven-day challenge, Walking Hills. I'll see you tomorrow.